Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Clock Country. Woke up super early and went to Shinjuku to do a little photo walk. As a lot of my videos lately, I was shooting this huge camera, the GW690. And I was shooting with two different films. I shot with the Fuji Pro 400H and a little Ilford HP5. So some black and white which actually caused me this huge contradiction, but I'll talk about that later. It was a overcast day, and I haven't shot an overcast light in a long time because in the wintertime in Tokyo, it's actually always sunny. And then once we're getting into spring now, there's more cloudy days and more rain, like right now there's rain. I kind of missed shooting in overcast because the way that it diffuses the light on that morning when I was shooting 400H, I was having trouble finding color. And it goes into even how I scanned it in, kind of going into scanning a little bit. I scan with Silverfast, which I've said before, on a Epson V600. Um, in Silverfast, there is an option or a profile for the Negifix or whatever it is they use to flip the, flip the negative. And it's for Fuji, Pro 400H, but man, whatever it gives me, I'm not a big fan of. So I usually have to color correct a little bit. Anyways, but I shot the Fuji and then I moved to some black and white. It was a nice day, enough talking. Let's go on this photo walk.
All right, guys, we're back in the kitchen. Hope you like this new um, spot. For me, it just works out for my apartment. But anyways, I had a lot of fun that morning. It was really nice. It was really early. There weren't a lot of people out. I hope that's conveyed in the video that I'm making. You know, for me, when I'm going out and making these videos, it's hard. And I've heard other YouTube people or photographers talk about this. Like when you are going out to make a video and shoot film on kind of difficult cameras, you know, you take a lot of focus away from making images, making the YouTube, making the video. But for me, I love making video. I hope that even if my photos are terrible, that at least the videos can convey the kind of sense or the mood that I was experiencing at the time. For me, mood is very important. Anyhow, moving on. The Fuji 400 images, they're okay. Anyways, with that said, going on to the black and white and kind of the big contradiction. First off, I don't shoot that much black and white. When I do, I like it. And I think it's really interesting and also challenging to shoot black and white. I'm such a colorist, like I love color. When I used to make paintings, I guess I still do, but you know, making paintings and stuff, I was always really into color. I, that's something that's so important to me and, and making like lots of saturated colors and desaturated colors, but just color, it's important. And when I make images, when I'm out looking around in the city, sometimes I'm looking for color. So when I turn, change to black and white, it's a different challenge. I was talking with someone actually on the channel in the comments section a little bit about that because they only shoot black and white and you know I think that's really awesome you know kind of putting that discipline into your work or rules to work by I think it's really important the contradiction though that I felt that day is that before I was shooting the black and white I was wandering around and it was overcast like I said before and just couldn't find very much color. I couldn't find what I was looking for. And as soon as I changed film and got the black and white rolling, 
I don't know, maybe it was the neighborhood I walked into, but there was just like all this interesting color and all these complementary colors like right in this frame that I could find. I still shot those images just because I thought, well, even though there's some interesting color here, there's also, it's about a composition. I should shoot it. You know, my mind was definitely in a different spot when I was shooting black and white. I did shoot some images in black and white that I'm happy with. I think I should just shoot more black and white. One thing though was really cool, the location. I was in Nishi Shinjuku, which is the West Shinjuku from JR Station. And then I walked down farther west into a neighborhood that was more residential and stuff. I had never been there before and I found this really cool road where it's just like kind of older buildings and just houses and then the skyscrapers are behind them. Actually, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building is there. Man, it was a cool road, and I can't wait to go back. Anyways, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. My name's Andrew, this is Clock Country. Peace out, bye bye.